So Yuan Chu is another one where it's just you know is it, he's not bad now, but Dynasty Warriors Five is my jumping on point. I just <laughs> no Toto. <laughs> How dare you defy my glorious banner! <laughs> I pledge allegiance to that. Yeah. You will get the ultimate diving headbutt. <laughs> Bow down. Hey folks, I'm Sirius JG. I'm Bobo the Vulture. And welcome back to Let's Play Dynasty Warriors A Extreme Legends Complete Edition. Uh, time for. Oh yeah, I did do Mentu Play All. So it's time for the Battle of Guandu. Hopefully, we get the choice to play as. John, but we'll see. The Senator of Moncast was merely a clever ploy by the billion strategist Joshi. We're going to see this again because basically it's pretending for some bizarre reason yeah. that the last time he gave his life due to the brave efforts of John Wei and its reinforcements. John Wei is totally alive, by the way. Apparently, he was so impressed with the plot hatched by Joshi that they personally invited him to join his army. There's hey, no, no hard feelings if John Wei's alive. <laughs> yes. Three years later, Cao Cao pursued Liu Bei, who had risen in rebellion and invaded his position in Xiaopi. Also known as Last Time. He managed to rout Liu Bei's forces and welcomed Liu Bei's sworn brother, Guan Yu, into his ranks as a guest officer. Special guest officer, Guan Yu! In addition to elite troops and brave generals, he now had an unparalleled love warrior, Guan Yu, his side as well. With all these assets at his disposal, Cao Cao set out to engage Yuan Chao in battle to fight his glorious banner. What? Meanwhile, Yuan Chao set up his massive army amongst the vast fields of Huabei. However, with his recent momentum and the strength at his disposal, Cao Cao was nearly assured of victory. Determined to become the ruler of the Central Plains, Chao Chao, the Central Chao, Chao, Chao set forth for <laughs> Here in a Chao, Chao 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 Chao, the hearts of John Wei and various other retainers, sang in preparation for the glorious battle. Let's get ready. <laughs> Give you the clothesline. Faith going for the meat hook clothesline. Feed me more. Feed me. Now, I'd like to play a Sal P, but it occurs to me, I don't know what opportunities you'll have to play a Sal P, and of course I've played through the game before, so would you like me to leave Sal P free for you to try out, or? Yeah, you can do as you like. I haven't also played, I mean, there's a brand new general I've never played. Oh, that's you true, played played well, I've played as well. Well, in that case, maybe I'll play a Sal Sal. You mean Sal P? Sal P, yeah. I'll play a Sal Sal, I got a cheat code. <laughs> up, up, down, down. And others as well. All right. Now I'm gonna try oh, you did things to... right before. Well, I, it's not like I've been using him much in my off screening. It's just a character that I've had a chance to play as before. Uh, so he's got. I double just meant in terms of equipping his skills. Oh yeah, things. yeah. Square, 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 and square, square. Got it. Triangle, triangle, square, 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 triangle, triangle. With me here. I suppose our victory is all but assured. Uh, heart attack! Oh. <laughs> oh. Snap, son. Don't get a place for you, though. Probably aware. Yeah. But we're seriously outnumbered here. What? I didn't know that, Ron! A frontal assault simply isn't an option. Spare us what we already know. What? Who's Tell us your guy? plan. Yeah, this is how he's talked for the last couple Please, of games. <laughs> allow me. At the moment, the two crossings of Bai Ma and Yan are under the control of Yuan Chao's forces. We start by raiding these locations. You mean a frontal assault? If we succeed in taking them, then we will have our bridgehead. That's a frontal assault! Okay. I'm sure the enemy aren't going to just let us take them, though. Quite right. Which is <laughs> where our diversion some bad comes in. Someone to catch their so attention in that case, he by coming like at them head on. I'm confusing mm. in my player mm. two colors. <laughs> Quad you back there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in that case, perhaps I may be so bold as to suggest myself for the role. Know your role. I think we talked over an amusing scene there where nobody else where wanted to. Where nobody, yeah, like. <laughs> well met, Master Eugene. Thank you for volunteering. It, it's nothing. I just thought I could be useful as a sacrificial pawn. <laughs> oh no, there will be no sacrificing. If that line breaks, the enemy will have a straight shot to Master Cao Cao. So what you're telling me is, hold the line! Yeah. We can't make a frontal assault. Let's attack the two places from which we can attack them. 
What? Yeah. The main forces will be circling around to buy Ma and Yan Jin, so do not expect any backup. Our master's fate rests in your hands, so we are counting on you. Oh. Oh no. Looks like I volunteered for the most important role. <laughs> Feats don't fill me now. G g g g g g gulp. <laughs> it's a guy. It's a g g g g g g g guy who makes me stutter. <laughs> Well, anyway, um... Jen around? Hey, Jen. Oh, actually, no, that's right, she hasn't joined our forces yet. I probably... Oh, I should probably find her and beeline towards her in case there's special dialogue, but... Whatever, anyway. It will close... I will close the gap between the strength of our forces using strategy. That's my job, after all. So, we do require strategy. Oh, oh no. I'm getting a feeling of deja vu. I tell you, it just feels great to be alive. <laughs> I will help with your Jin's diversion. I will not allow the enemy to lay a finger on our master. I have returned from hell for just that purpose. I actually, I like his player two colors. Yeah. I am Guan Yu. It's confusing, I know. I was made Master Cao Cao's special guest officer <laughs> for a reason. Master Cao Cao treated me with extreme kindness in the past. Extreme, extreme, I will extreme, use my blade to repay that debt. Better hope we don't run into Leo Bear. Things will get confused. Speed and courage will be the deciding for factors of this battle. I am counting on your strength. I count on you. Boy. <laughs> Yuan Shao may have a large army, but he lacks decisive. I think the lack of decisiveness may be his greatest weakness. Or maybe it's something else. <laughs> if we carry out our plan quickly, the enemy will fall into disarray. Regular. Then our victory will be assured. Regular. I wonder what... Hmm, I kind of wonder what South P says if you pick someone else, but... I don't know. <laughs> it's probably not <laughs> worth the trouble. Lord South P will do very well as Lord South Tsao's successor. He won't disappoint us. Compared to him, Yuan Shao's sons are hopeless. Indeed, like father, like son. Think about it, won't you? <laughs> Thank you. The final battle between Lord Tsao Tsao and Yuan Shao is close at hand. Can we really defeat such a large army? Yuan Shao and Lord Cao Cao used to be friends. It is sad, but we must do what is needed. Are you fist pumping at the back of that guy's <laughs> head? Give it a bar massage. <laughs> I heard that the wife of Yuan Shao's son, Yuan Chi, is a real looker. Apparently no one can resist her. I would love to get just one good look at her. I'd never forget someone like that. There's an enemy officer that I could talk to. Oh, that's the gatekeeper. He's looking at the map. He's marked in red. Guo Jia has recently been staying up late on many nights. I haven't seen him healthy for a long time. Uh oh. Master Yue Jin, always first on the battlefield. Then I will be sure to be second. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> As I ride piggyback. Uh, I'm worried about this battle. I hope Master Zhuaju, Zhuaju, whatever, is able to do something so that we, we may win. I don't even care about the peons. Go and take the enemy officer's head. Yuan Shao is one of the more prominent vassals of the Han. He commands many more troops than our lord. He's gradually turning into uh, Zhang Xiao. <laughs> Master Dion Wei... <laughs> <laughs> See, I was beginning to wonder whether it was everybody just happens to have the same voice. Uh -huh. Everyone has different voices, but they're all mocking Shao <laughs> Fi as he walks by. <laughs> or... <laughs> it hadn't even occurred to me, but I like that. <laughs> or Shao Fi is psychic and just reading the <laughs> thoughts of everyone as he walks past them. <laughs> it's a relief to see you alive. Has the wound on your back healed? 
giant you can talk to me logo is floating in the sky, stabbing <laughs> through its selfie. <laughs> Have you heard about the lonesome loser? Apparently, On Shao has a really beautiful officer working for him. His name is Zhang He. It's hard to imagine a beautiful officer on the battlefield. I can't wait to see for myself. They get so excited about the idea that there's a pretty woman amongst the massive army that has uh, outlaid to kill them. Hey, whatever it takes to get them to charge forward, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They should probably just say, hey, you know, the enemy general's a beautiful lady. Why don't you go charge straight into the main camp and <laughs> get her? Beat her. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this, Lord South. I was trying desperately to convince Master Quan you to stay. He even gave him red hair, Lubu's prized horse, as a special pouch to hold his beard in. Well, and, and as a special pouch. And a special pouch. He, he slaughtered red hair <laughs> and took the hide and fashioned a special beard pouch. Despite all of that, Guan Yu refused to stay with our lord. I suppose there are those that even he cannot convince. Wait, that hasn't happened yet. He's still working for him. Well, he's still the guest officer. <sighs> you know. He's trying to get him to sign that, that final contract. <laughs> Everyone is revering Master Guan Yu like he's some kind of god. Cao Cao snorts at this guy's... Cao Pi snorts at this guy's inner thoughts. <laughs> it is such a shame to let him go. If only he would continue to serve Lord Cao Cao. So you guys aren't talking to each other at all. Nope. They like him because he's not only strong, but also a man of very high morals. Hmm. Fascinating. Whatever. As I learned in the minds of the common folk. Children of great parents are often competent. <laughs> it is because they're spo is it because they're spoiled as soon as they're raised? Oh god, I hope he can't read my mind, but if he can, it kind of proves he isn't incompetent. He's <laughs> fairly talented. Be careful what you say. Master Xiao Pi is a very capable medium. <laughs> I was talking about Yuan Shao's son. Why are you trying to get me in trouble like that? I am reminded, um... There, you know, because I watched the, the, the Zhuge Liang funeral in the uh, RTK like TV series. Yeah. And it cuts oh, it cuts from the end of that that song to like Tao P who hadn't shown up off as a character before that point so he's he's, he's captioned as the Tao P is written on screen when he talks and he is totally like this oily like rubbing his hands together <laughs> now you get young is dead <laughs> so it's a, a different interpretation. Yuan Shao has two very powerful officers, Yan Liang and Wen Chu. Or as I prefer to call them, based on my dice from Warriors 5 memories, Yan Liang, Wen Chu. <laughs> Wen Chu, or maybe it's Yan Liang. I can't remember which one is which, but one of them has an RTK portrait where he's just basically the, the ultimate screaming bearded psycho. He, make, <laughs> he puts Zhang Fei to shame. We will have no chance of winning the battle unless both Yan Liang and Wen Chu are defeated. And there we go, I think we've exhausted. Listen, I know what all of you are doing. Just stop it, <laughs> alright? <laughs> oh, hey, Guan Yu apparently has more to say. <laughs> I wonder if you are safe. I was hoping you were going to do that. <laughs> you must survive so that we may meet again. <laughs> South P really wants to do something about that, but you know, it's fucking Guan Yu, what's he gonna do? I fucking do? hate all of you! <laughs> I'm gonna go make out with Shenji on the toilet! <laughs> yeah, never mind that one, folks. You don't need, to, you don't need that one explained. <laughs> Let's go! We don't want to miss this opportunity to strike! Understood! <laughs> The enemy has superior numbers, so fighting, fighting head-on will be difficult. We need to draw them out by raiding Bai Ma and Yan Jin. Alright, I guess we're gonna head over to the uh, far west there. That seems to be the... Seems to be the glowing green point. 
Oh, great. Delphi has crazy ice magic. Like father, like son. Think about it, don't you? <laughs> he actually plays pretty much like he did in Dynasty Warriors 5, essentially. Oh, what? You're talking about, uh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, he, he, that guy fights with a freaking pool stick. I guess you're not playable yet, eh, buddy? Oh, never mind. He's just a, it's a trap. I mean, your deeds will go down Your deeds will go down in Legend of Minnesota fast. <laughs> Like to someday be Princess of Way. Well, I'm actually helping out with um, the the big defensive line to protect Daddy, so that's nice. <laughs> Alright, capture by mom. Was uh Yan Leon glowing with power? I'm just curious. Uh he had red or uh okay. Because Wen Cho does too, and I was wondering if I'm not supposed to be fighting him. There we go, we got all the stuff. What do we do now? Uh, frontal attack like we're not supposed to do, apparently. Hey, you want tan. Oh. Can't let him fall. Hey, and you're fighting uh, the guy who's, uh, whose wife I'm going to be stealing. That's right, I'm serious. JG, I'm going to steal you on wife. Yugi Boy has surrendered to us. <laughs> Yugi Boy. Hey, it's Zhu Yu, only pronounced differently. Yeah, I always like to tell everyone it's a fire stuff, it's my deal. Thank you, Kwon Ping. <laughs> I'm just gonna pull one out of my pants pocket here. You can. Hmm. 
Basically just to keep going with that frontal attack that we said we weren't going to do. Yeah, so, um... I'm just fighting, just dudes. You're actually doing what the plot is telling us to do. It's pretty cool. Okay, well, I can't actually get in there. This is probably Wu Cho. Won't let me in. You got a stutter clubla. Oh, I'm going to back off like a coward and protect the fire attack unit. Sworn Brother reunion coming up. Your deeds will go down in legend. I shall show you how a battle is won. <laughs> is it one like this, Denji? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how I plan to win. By causing you to just look really silly. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. You have accomplished that pretty well. They're advancing. I, I was you. I've been here the entire time. You guys didn't even appear until just now. Uh, oh shit! Yeah, they're green squares. I should have been running past all these guys. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry about it. This green square just now showed up. The one over here. Okay. Oh. Well. Legion uh, defeated. Dude, anyway. Where'd you go, Ledeon? I need to get in here. How do I get in here? Get away from those engineers, you jerk. Get away from those engineers, you bitches. <laughs> you bitches. Oh, I guess I'm gonna head back over here to you. I think, uh... Oh, I just used the rage token to take control of the situation. Oh, well, all right. Now you're over here ready to help out. Oh. We might get a special bonus of some kind if we can defeat the Sworn Brothers before they retreat, because that's coming. A uh, story event with the Sworn Brothers finding each other. this gate. Is there still something? Is there still an officer over there? Oh no, the fire attack just hadn't uh, gotten underway yet. Beat all the enemies in the vicinity. I think we've already done that. Uh, so we're just waiting at the door for guys to come out. Chow's not even on the map in this version. Hey, we we discovered treasure. treasure. What? Let me in there. <laughs> What's going on? Treasure. <clears throat> oh, it's on hard difficulty. This is probably um, your ultimate weapon. Probably, yeah. Actually, I was going to say probably my. It could be either one of our characters' ultimate weapon, but it's probably Southie's, just based on the fact that it's this battle, and for whatever reason, he's <laughs> always in this battle. Well, he meets Gen G here. I guess it makes sense. But um, so I'm looking about for the late battle. Answer. Yeah, dual blade is resonating. <laughs> Come on. I think I am much more suited to joining the side of Sansa. Oh, nice! And he's gonna open the door so I can get in and get my treasure. Treasure. Get him. Can you ever defect? I don't recall it happening. Disrespectfully riding a horse around inside their castle. 
Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. I want to figure this shit out. Uh, maybe that happens in plot. Yeah, he must have because he's not around anymore. Oh uh, well. Sorry, I should have warned you. It was unpleasant. It's all right. I was in the middle of some elaborate trick shot. Oh, I think I got this lady. Good thing for you, I'm not using my ultimate weapon, which I just acquired. <laughs> And I'm planning to bite you. <laughs> How come my tactics yeah. fail? <laughs> That's good failure. She falls instantly in love with him because he doesn't want to murder her. <laughs> Yenji's corpse has joined her army. And shut your mouth! Figure. Ultimate pool battle time! <laughs> I was making some speech. You know, our friend is just a creepy one there. <laughs> Make me feel safe. <laughs> Took your daughter-in-law and now Don't make me play more cool at you. Come to kill me, have you? You on show in the Who corner have pocket. Been your friend since we were children. I, with the noble name of the Han. The crotch pointed directly <sighs> towards you. you. You should be beneath me. Say nothing more. I'll think you less of a man. Die with little pride, <laughs> bitch. A noble name and a powerful army. All that strength, and yet you strove to bring back a land that is now long past. We will travel to space, what? China. What are you talking about? Where the type The very us. fact you do not understand is the reason you have lost. You need to learn some uh, secret language. <laughs> our final farewell. You shall be another step upon my path to total rule. Sao Tso totally rules. <laughs> if this were RTK-12, you would be spending the rest of your life working a farm in northern China. <laughs> <laughs> I spared Yuan Shao, and he joined my army, and I made him a farmer for the rest of the war. <laughs> You've impressed me again, young master. It wasn't yeah, perfect, Yeah, but we did though. get we... that block damage. Yeah, I was about to say, tick damage from that fireball spam. Oh, no. Don't tell me there was a star we were supposed to get. Master. I didn't even think about it. It's okay. Sorry. I think I've been thinking a little too hard. Can we uh, about tell me about the observatory? Yeah. Come. The power balance is about to shift dramatically. Let our strategies lift our lord to the summit. Okay. Did I mention that you make me feel safe? Oh, never mind. I... Uh, sorry, it's a different character. <laughs> so, so I defeated Yuan Shao's massive army at Guangdu and seized control of the central plains. Some people are intimidated by Sazu's army, but. This served to announce the name of Tsao Tsao to the entire land. Hey everybody, it's a Tsao Tsao! Tsao Tsao! Everyone Tsao Tsao is coming. Meanwhile, the fact that Yuan Shao had not named a clear successor served to throw the Yuan family into utter turmoil. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Yuan Shao's son, Yuan Tan, and Yuan Shi, and Yuan Shang were all thrown into disarray and forced to flee. Uh, <laughs> disarray, <laughs> flee! <laughs> Eventually, they arrived at Mount Bai Lang to the north, which was populated by the foreign tribe known as the Wu Hua. It had been seven years since the Battle of Guandu. Seven years later. <laughs> Some time passes here. With the changing times, there was a number of people with their South South's camp that indicated they turned their. 
However, Scoot Jia stood in opposition to them all. He felt he should steal with Yuan's family before they became the even biggest threats. So it's all respect of his opinion in order to I was actually trying to do the villain from... Uh, oh, God. Scoot <laughs> <laughs> Jia eagerly increased the pace of this march to an almost deadly level. The very sign of him served to inspire the troops. Say no fear of the might and wisdom of Cao Cao Zhang Liao and Jiu Zhu were on display as they looked to put an end to the... <laughs> oh, it's not fair! I didn't get to finish reading my lines! Yes. And there you have it, folks. William Murderface, Murderface, Murderface takes us home. But yeah, this is a... Um, this is a uh, kind of an interesting uh, little uh, deal here. They, uh... The Battle of Guandu was not like automatic victory, Yuan Shao's gone forever. It was just the most important battle in the campaign. Mm -hmm. And they're actually like, yeah, you know, um... There were guys resisting Cao Cao in the north for a couple of years after, and this is the first time they've really addressed it. So, uh, next time, I guess we're going to address it. And uh, we've already got our little hints that Guo Jia is not feeling that good. Well, he wasn't feeling that good seven years ago. I can't imagine now. Yeah, I can't imagine. And he didn't get that looked at. Oh, I hope he got it looked at. He had his pirate friend there to help him using pirate medicine, but um, which I guess is what spinach. <laughs> well, you know, it's like, well, yeah, don't stress yourself. Here, suck on a lime. <laughs> Arg. Arr, have some rum. Arr. Anyway, folks. Um, uh, yeah. So next time, um, we don't have Guajia as a ch person we can play as, but I believe he's in the battle. Yeah. And I believe getting one of the stars has a lot to do with uh, looking after him. But we'll get to that next time. I'm the Serious CG. I'm Bobo the Vulture. We want to thank you guys very much for watching. And we hope you'll tune in next time for more of Dynasty Warriors 8 uh, Extreme Legends Complete Edition. Thanks for watching. Bye.